I am Anil Kumar sharing with you an example of geometric distribution where weighting is involved. The question here is, a traffic signal on your way has green light for 40 seconds and then umber or red for 60 seconds. What is the probability that light will be green when you reach the intersection at least once in 5 working days? Second part of the question is, what is the expected number of days before the light is green when you reach the intersection? Now let us see how to solve such questions. So what we are given here is that the time duration for green light is 40 seconds and that for the red is 60, right? So in all from 100 seconds, green is for 40 seconds. So probability for green is 40 over 100 which is 40 percent or 0 0.4 right so we'll call this as a success so we'll define a random variable x which is green is success So this is a Bernoulli's trial where we have only two outputs. If it is green, it is success. Otherwise, it is failure. And all these events are treated as independent. So in this particular case, when we say, what is the probability that the light will be green when you reach the intersection at least once in five working days? Now, uh, now what are the scenarios? It could be green on the first day, right? So if it is green on the first day, let's say it is a success on the first day. And we say it could be green on the second day. In that case, we'll have a failure on the first day and success on the second day. It could be green on the third day. That means two failures and then a success. Similarly, on the fourth day, it will be three failures and then a success and on the fifth day it could be four failures and then a success so these are all the combinations when we say at least once at least once in five working days that means we have to add them all correct so the probabilities will be some of these so at least once where capital X is less than 5, less than equals to 5, right? In that case, if it is, you get success in the first day, probability for success, this is what we are saying is probability for success, that is green, is 0.4. So in this case, it is 0 0.4. Plus, if you get it on the second day, probability for failure is 0.6, 1 minus 0.4, right? for failure is 0 0.6 1 minus 0.4 so one failure and a success means it is 0 0.6 times 0 0.4 right plus two failures and a success means 0 0.6 squared times 0 0.4 three failures means 0 0.6 cube times 0 0.4 4 failures means 0 0.6 to the power of 4 times 0 0.4. Right? So some of these will give us the probability. Correct? So let us add them all. So we have 0.4 plus 0.6 times 0.4 plus 0.6 square times 0.4 plus 0.6 cube times 0 0.4 plus 0 0.6 to the power of 4 times 0 0.4 equals to so in decimals this is equals to 0 0.92 let us say right so 922 so 92% percent. so the probability is 92 percent right that is what it is so that is 
how you can do part A, right? Let me say this is part A and now we'll do part B. Okay. So we get that at least once in five working days, the probability is 92%. What is the expected number of days before the light is green when you reach the intersection? So, so in this case, it is kind of waiting for light to be green. The expected value for waiting is Q over P. So in this case, Q is 0 0.6 divided by 0 0.4. So that gives us 0.6 divided by 0.4 equals to 3 over 2 or 1.5. That is to say that you may have to wait for one and a half day to get a green light. Right. So the so expected value is one and a half day, right? 1.5 days. So that is how you could actually solve this question. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.